Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where in this video we're taking a look at the Z Z Zumba, an off-road armoured vehicle released as part of the Diamond Casino Heist DLC. So what you get for your purchase is an armoured car with a very short wheelbase but with massive wheels which have very low amounts of grip due to their design and cannot be outfitted with weapons. Uh, but before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at some of the customization options that are available to the vehicle. All you really get with this thing is some choices of off-roady kind of stuff, you know, non-functionable tow bars, tools and fuel cans on the side of the vehicle, all the usual off-roady kind of stuff that you find on an off-road car. Once done with customization, I found that this thing really isn't as slow as it's made itself out to be when testing out the car in heist. This thing is awfully slow when it comes to heist, but when tuned to the max, it's about as fast as the likes of a Rhino tank. Unlike a tank, however, even without all the snow that's in the map right now, the level of grip that the tyres offer is abysmal. It's really not that good for traction. What the wheels are good for, though, is driving on-road, off-road, no road, allowing you to transition from land to sea and back with very little sacrifice in speed. But let's face it, a lot of other vehicles can do this now, so what is the vehicle good for? Perhaps defence with its semi-bulletproof windows and 14 missiles defensive armour for the body allowing it to be a great vehicle for deliveries? Perhaps its wide range of aim ability for drive-by weapons minus grenades allows it to be a great drive-by vehicle? Uh, I'm not really sure what this thing is supposed to be. Uh, sure it has great defence, but it's just really slow meaning it'll be an easy target for anything to shoot at no matter how tough this thing is. And because the thing is so light and the wheelbase is short, whenever you get hit by anything explosive, the thing jumps around like a bouncy ball making it very difficult to drive the thing evasively under fire. I personally don't think that the Zabra is a good purchase, unless I'm missing something here. If you want a tank that can float on water, you could just buy an APC which has similar defence but also has a way to defend itself. It's also considerably easier to drive than the Zaba, or if you want a good drive-by vehicle that's just as decent against rockets, just get an Insurgent. They're faster, meaning it'll have a chance to avoid incoming fire. It can hold more people, it looks nicer, but can't float on water. Which, let's be honest, being able to float on water is about as useful as one of those cheap drones that you get off of eBay that advertise being able to FPV, but can only fly like 10 feet away before it loses signal. But that's what the Zaba is, it's a daft purchase. It's tough, but it's slow, and it's got nothing but drive-by weapons to defend itself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you enjoyed this short video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around folks.